Following the sad story of Wellington Trolleybus, the news from the Estonian capital of Tallinn will be very relevant. Tallinn also has a trolleybus network, which in recent years has been reduced from the former nine lines to four current ones, with a 44 Solaris trolleybuses in operation manufactured in 2002-2009. On the rest of the lines, they started operating buses instead of trolleybuses, and the infrastructure was also in a poor and outdated condition, and the city was seriously considered a complete shutdown of trolleybus service. But one beautiful day, the city authorities took the latest generation of modern trolleybuses for a test drive and eventually decided that the trolleybus network should not be closed down, but rather expanded and modernized. Can you imagine? It's also possible. The city plans to purchase 40 new trolleybuses with autonomous operation and the ability to charge in motion. There will be 22 articulated 18-meter trolleybuses and 18 standard 12-meter ones. In general, it is planned to spend up to 50 million euros on new trolleybuses and reconstruction of the contact network over the next six years. In the city center, the overhead wires will be partly dismantled and trolleybuses will operate rate on batteries. On the other routes, they are planning a complete renewal of contact network. The new battery-powered trolleybuses will also run on other lines remote from the overhead wires. In addition to the new trolleybuses, Stalin will also gradually introduce electric buses, which, according to the vision of city administration, are better suited to serve routes with a lower passenger demand. In the beginning, I was planning this story as a part of an urban news episode, but in the process, I decided to send a letter to the Tallinn City Council for a more detailed comment, and they responded. So ahead is a comment by representative of the Tallinn Transportation Department, Mr. Grigory Parfionov, who is an expert of the local transport authority. Uh, basically, the discussion of the trolley buses started uh, quite a few years ago. There was quite a big discussion over the past maybe 20, 30 years ago whether we should keep trolley buses or whether we should cut out the entire system. At the end of the day, a uh, trolley bus system is very expensive. I mean, the net overhead wiring, uh, the energy systems, uh, the rolling stock itself, I mean, it's a it's, it's a complicated system at the end of the day. And what we have done is we've made a full TCO, which is a total cost of ownership analysis uh, for different systems, for diesel buses, for uh, CNG buses, for electric buses, uh, for trolley buses. And it's worth mentioning that uh, electric buses are very different considering that they have really different uh, battery ca capabilities and uh, according to those capabilities they have different requirements. Uh, the same as with trolley buses, by the way, especially after IMC technology has appeared, which is uh, basically a battery-powered uh, trolley bus. I would actually say that it's more like a, uh, an electric bus, but with the ability of charging uh, while operating, which is very important. So uh, we've uh, conducted three years a deep analysis from all sides, from the talent transfer department, from the uh, TLT, which is the uh, operator, the main operator of public transport in talent. I'm, by the way, um, I, I work for both, so I'm uh, the member of the supervisory board uh, for TLT and additionally I'm the uh, uh, urban mobility advisor for talent transport department so um, and we had a lot of discussions on it on, on this topic we've uh, looked on various capabilities various technologies we've actually even took apart two, two of our old Troy buses uh, and uh, equipped them well, we've retrofitted them and we've added battery packs on top uh, and we've conducted uh, tests uh, for two years right now and uh, the tests have shown that it's a quite reliable system that we can cut off some of the wires 
especially in the city center where they well uh, where we have a lot of intersections and this is taking actually the speeds of trolley buses down and if uh, we start operating those sections without wires this means that we can operate them as fast as a normal electric bus with the reliability of a trolley bus which is a positive aspect uh, we've also took into consideration that uh, basically the trolley bus systems if we uh, continue operating them and, and retrofit them I mean I'm not talking about the rolling stock I'm more talking about the uh, energy system uh, this will allow us in future um, to implement uh, tram lines in the locations where trolley uh, bus lines uh, are already there uh, but this is more like a future proof requirement let's put it this way so um, at this point, uh, we have a made a decision that uh, we shall potentially refurbish the existing trolley bus network, additionally by a new rolling stock as first stage, then the second stage would be expanding the trolley bus system uh, and building new lines. So this means um, uh, building new infrastructure, and uh, we strongly look at the experiences of other cities, for example, Prague, Bratislava, Zurich, um, and so on and so forth. As I understand, you are planning to like uh, add these new trolley buses and uh, also use the older ones. Well, the thing is that most of our trolley buses we operate right now, they're uh, ba ba basically they're, they've already accumulated their own resources. So at this moment, we are more talking about fully replacing the fleet, which is logical. Um, we have uh, 45 trolley buses in operation right now, uh, and daily we operate uh, at least 33. Most of the trolley buses we have, they're quite old, I would say uh, almost well, more than 20 years old, uh, most of them. And uh, actually, the resources is, is fully used. And uh, whether we like it or not, we should buy new rolling stock. And this will actually help us to get rid of some wires in the city center, because we are looking at battery uh, trolley buses or IMC technology uh, in motion uh, charging technology. So. Yeah, at, at, at this moment, we are looking at fully replacing the fleet as a first stage. And uh, and the next stage is we're, we're going to be um, more to expand the network, which is buying new trolley bus units and buying uh, all the equipment and uh, building new overhead wire lines. We are looking at uh, the possibility of implementing 24-meter trolley buses as well as Prop did. We actually have locations where the such lines could uh, have an advantage uh, to prove the well uh, to to prove the fact that we have the ridership this year. We've also started to re uh, re, re planning our uh, public transport network, uh, and we decided to do it stage by stage. And this year we've. Uh, made a couple of new lines and uh, those ones have like uh, the passenger flow of 20,000 people uh, a day which is maybe not enough uh, for a tram line it's definitely too much for a normal bus line but if we are talking about 24 meters trolley buses then potentially uh, this would be the optimal use of resources especially if we look at the like uh, uh, long span targets at the end of the day. I mean, we don't have enough money to make mistakes. And before we do something, we, we carefully an analyze and we carefully look in, into the maths and physics and economics, definitely. Well, but, that's, that's but, normal. <laughs> But, but but it's absolutely important that uh, it, it's not only about uh, making data-based decisions, what we are doing. Uh, it's extremely important that, nevertheless, what we do 
uh, we should um, work in the favor of our citizen. Because the end user is, uh, at the end of the day, is the one who should benefit from any uh, investments we conduct in our city. So. From the political point of view, uh, who was the engine of these changes? Uh, because, uh, as you know, this inertia of the cities, when, for example, some city is decided to cut the trolleybus uh, network and then it decided to not to cut it, who was the uh, engine of these changes and uh, who pushed this uh, decision? Talent decision makers, they pay attention to specialists, they listen and uh, they conduct the decisions according to the best knowledge we have I mean, at the end of the day. I wouldn't say that it's uh, a political decision, it's more of, over, like, uh, it's more of um, I would say it's more of a physical decision. I mean, it's more of a mass decision, more of an econ economical decision. Uh, but I should say in general that uh, the politicians in Tallinn, uh, they are wise enough uh, not to look at uh, fashionable trends and they always look into detail on what works and what doesn't work and what will gonna benefit the citizen at the end of the day. I've read in the in the news that you used like a, you took one modern trolley bus for a test drive and used it for some time. Uh, and uh, I want to ask like how you chose the manufacturer of this one and uh, what it shows actually this new one. Well, no, not quite. Uh, what we've done is uh, we've took uh, 24 meter Solaris trolley bus. Uh, for a test drive to actually have a look whether our narrow streets would be okay with that operating. Mm -hmm. and, um, we've actually conducted night a time test drives before we put it on the line because I mean the 24 meter solar bus is quite uh, it's slightly different in terms of maneuvering and in terms of other aspects. Ah, so it's, and, it, it was more about geometry, not, not about the uh, yeah. energy use. Or... Yeah, well, it, 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 it's more about geometry because, as I mentioned previously, we have locations where we would like to operate 24 meter trolley buses. Mm -hmm. And before we even went out with that idea, we just decided to have a test drive. We've invited Solaris because those guys had one built and, and they were giving it to other cities for a test drive we've, we've asked whether we can have one and they well they gave it to us and and we've been operating it uh, i can't remember for sure but i think that was a couple of weeks for sure mm -hmm. we've operated it uh, in existing traffic conditions i mean everything was super great some locations uh, showed us that we would have to extend the platforms, which is, well, logically, we never operated 24 meter rolling stock. Mm -hmm. But this is something, I mean, this is an, a, a subject uh, to infrastructure improvement. We are constantly improving infrastructure. And uh, uh, and I would say that the tests were, were, were successful. That's the conversation we had, and it's really cool that in Tallinn City Council they are so open to letters and find time to answer questions of a guy from YouTube. As for the trolley buses, the example of Tallinn is very illustrative because they made a decision based on a deep analysis where they compared different options and saw that the most profitable one was to preserve and modernize the trolley bus system. And of course, I hope they will succeed. And now, I thank you all for watching and invite you to share your thoughts in the comments about how do you like this type of video and who should I talk to next time.